Hi folks, I'm Dave. I'm the tutor at Fuse Technologies and I'm very excited to be sitting here with you today because we're going to take a first look at Fuse for Nintendo Switch. Now, what is Fuse for Nintendo Switch? Well, if you haven't been following us, for the last two years we have been developing a game which lets you write code on a handheld console. You can use Fuse to create your own programs, applications and video games and then share those creations with your friends. So we certainly think it's pretty cool and we hope that you do too, but I want to get right into Fuse and start showing you a few different demos to give you an idea of what Fuse is capable of. So let's just do that. Now, as you can see behind me, this is the screen that you will see when you load up Fuse for the first time. Uh, I'm going to say no to the quick tour here because that's kind of my job with this video is to be your tour guide, but I would have a read of that information if it's your first time using Fuse. There's a lot of helpful stuff in there. Now, a great place to start from the main menu, if it's your first time, is to go straight to the Programs section in Fuse. And from here, you can actually load up any of the demo projects that Fuse comes with. Now, if I just scroll down, I'm going to go to one of my personal favourites and uh, just show you what that looks like. If I run this code behind me, I'm thrown straight into a little racing game. And I can zoom around this little 3D cute little track with my car. And uh, you can hear that we've got some jolly music, some car sound effects. And it feels great to play, actually. It looks really cute, too. But perhaps racing games aren't your thing. Understandable. Perhaps you like the idea of sort of a more sci-fi, like, pixel art shooting game. Well, I've got just the demo for you. This one is another one of my favourites. It's called Super Mega Arena Blaster, which is difficult to say, but is an awesome name. And uh, what you'll see here when we just finish loading is that we can select up to four players. Now, that means that you can use views to make your own multiplayer party games, which you should definitely give that a try because I can imagine it'd be quite fun to have your friends around and just get them to play your own weird and crazy creation. But uh, I'm just going to choose the one player because I'm on my own here. But uh, if I just choose my favourite ship, now you can see straight away this is actually quite a polished looking game. It looks quite professional. We've got bouncing lasers, we've got lovely glowing light effects, we've got awesome looking bomb effects here, we've got music, sound effects, the works. Let's just see that bomb effect again, it looks so good. I just love that. I can see that again and again and again. It looks awesome. Now, you might be thinking, where is all this artwork coming from? Where is the background to this game coming from? How did you get that race car and the racetrack? Well, this is where Fuse really does stand apart, I feel. Uh, if you head to the media section in Fuse, you'll be met with the list of contributing artists whose work you can access from within Fuse. Now, this is a whole host of different game assets that you might want to use in your projects. We've got everything from 2D images like backgrounds and sprites and character sheets um, up to 3D models of all different shapes and sizes. We've got audio effects, we've got voice clips and full music tracks. So you can use this whole assortment of different content to make whatever game that you want. Now, if you're going through all of these different assets and you can't exactly find the, the exact thing that you're looking for, fear not, Fuse has got you covered. If you head to the tools section, you can use the Fuse map editor or image editor to actually create your very own assets and draw them pixel by pixel if you want to create your own character sheet or your own level and then use those in your projects. So you really can make anything that you like. Now, let's say that you have put together a pretty cool project and uh, maybe you've used some of your own assets, maybe you've loaded some in from the media and uh, you're having trouble. Let's say that you've hit a problem uh, that you can't quite figure out by yourself, or perhaps you have written a program just fine and you just want to show it off, which would be a very admirable thing to do indeed. Head over to the friends section. Um, here you'll see that I've got my list of Nintendo friends appearing just here, and I can go into one of those and I can actually download their project, chop it, change it, edit it in the way that I want, maybe try and fix a problem that they're having or just give them some feedback, and then I can share that project back to them and using the friends section, you can actually make little um, collaborative teams that you can then work on larger projects on together. So pretty cool. Now, what I've left until last here, and I feel is the most important point, and this is really the reason that Fuse exists in the first place, we teach people to code. So it really wouldn't be a learn to code application without some help. Now, if you head over to the help section, you can see a bunch of different documents that you can use to get used to Fuse, how to use it properly, and all that stuff. 
But more importantly, if you open up the tutorials, you have got a whole suite of tutorials ranging from the very, very simple concepts used in programming, uh, ranging up to the far more complicated, more advanced concepts that we use in, you know, sort of more complicated video game programming. And uh, you can use this resource to teach yourself all of these different things to bolster your skills and make it exactly what it is that you want. What we want to do is allow you to make your ideas into a reality. Now, hopefully this all looks like something that you're excited about. Uh, if it is, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, it would mean a great deal to us. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Um, and if you do subscribe, we have a series of videos coming out rather soon um, with myself and another Fuse tutor in which we will be taking you through some of these tutorial projects and really showing you how to use Fuse and what can be done with it in a more sort of expanded and sort of conversational way. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you again. Um, and the link is in the description for our community website. This is fusearena.com. So if you want to be a part of a growing community of budding programmers, some expert programmers, share your different things, share your um, different concepts and ideas, get feedback and learn a lot, then please head over and sign up. We'd love to see you there. Um, I think that's about all I've got to say. So I've been Dave. It's been great to see you. Have a great day and take care.